Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make stereoscopic 3D images using Photoshop with single image, starting from a single image. Now, I'll be using this image right here. This is my image which I'm going to make 3D into 3D. So, as you can see, there's a lot of depth and detail in that image. So, these two cars, they are way front and this is way back there. This, there's a blasting here, this crushing and all that fire stuff. So we'll keep all the details intact, we'll not mess up in any details. Just create a depth map for the Photoshop to understand this this is the foreground and that will be the background and distort the picture accordingly. So the end result will be somewhat like this. As you can see, this is the end result, and if you want, you can cross eye now and test it. Okay, test it. Yeah, there's a lot of detail in if you cross eye as you can see I'm currently I'm cross eyed but this car is in front and this car is just flying towards me and this is in the back that thing over there that building is very far away okay now we're going to do that first let me open my Photoshop and open your picture okay First, what you have to do is uh, start with a new layer. That's background, no problem, that's locked. Start with a new layer above that layer. So, and examine your picture now. This bottom part right here for my picture is foreground. And this upper part here is background. So, you have to tell Photoshop that this is foreground and this is background. For that thing, you are going to create a depth map and for that select gradient tool and select the gradient as foreground to background with foreground color as black and background color as white start from the bottom and all the way to the top don't stop here if you stop here i'll show you it will be something like this see up to here it's almost in the background but there is a car here for us which is in the foreground so go all the way up See, this is somewhat in the foreground. Now we want this. Okay, now, sorry, I'm a bit cold. Bring down the opacity so that you can see the picture down there. And the, what is depth map? First, basically, what is depth map? A depth map is a map or picture that tells Photoshop which is foreground, which is background. For, for example, I'll show you it. This thing here is black and here is somewhat whitish shade. So, if it's black, then it's in the foreground. And if it's white, then it's in the background. So, now we have, we are, we will be adding detail for this picture. Okay. To make this car in the foreground and that building over there far away. All that kind of stuff. So first, let's start with this car, this big car. Take your brush tool and select black. As I said, black is uh, foreground, so select black and start painting on the car with uh, this layer selected. Start painting. Again, take time on this. Uh, I'm just going fast because of the tutorial. You can take time and do slowly. The more perfect the depth map is, the more realistic the picture looks in 3D. Okay, I'm, I'll be just doing fast for the tutorial. Okay, now let's shift to this car. This car, oops, there's a, as you can see, guys, there is a gap here. There should not be any gap. Fill all these gaps like here. If there is a gap, what will happen? I'll show you it. See, there's a gap here. So, uh, 
the everything in this car this whole car will be in the foreground but this tiny triangle there will be in the background how that looks imagine isn't that weird so cover all that thing okay bring up your opacity you will get to know where is the gap or something like that. okay now let's switch to this car second car red car and this is slightly in the behind this car as you can see this car is over here and this car is over here. It's slightly behind so take the colors and just a little bit decrease the black shade and go to the gray just a little bit and start painting on this car again take time on this guys as you can see i painted somewhat on that car you don't do that take time on this one from here it looks like it's completed but bring up your opacity as you can see there are some gaps here. and let me fix this one here Now, just bring down the opacity a little bit. Now, the next thing we are going to do is deal with the background. So, as I said, this part over here is in the background. Sorry, this part over here is in the background. So, for background, I said, as I said, white is the background. So, select white as the background color and Start painting on that thing there. Okay. I actually can't see the picture. Yeah, it's alright. Okay. See if you bring down the opacity, you can see the picture and bring up the opacity again. See, there's a gap here. It should not be any gap, as I said. Decrease the opacity a little bit. Okay. Now, next, we'll deal with this car here. This car is in the foreground, actually, but not too much background and not foreground. So, what you'll do is the nearest car to this one is this car. So, bring up the opacity and pick this color. Okay. And take your brush too. Take the colors mixture and bring it down just by that much. Okay. And start painting on that car. Okay, now next we'll deal with these three cars here. So go to the mixer and bring it down. This car. And take your time, guys. Take your time on this depth map and do as perfect as you can. So The more perfect it is, the more realistic it looks. Okay. So for this tutorial, I'm just leaving the depth map like this. But if you want, you can actually detail this one here, this thing with the gradient, somewhere like that. And uh, this thing paint here up to here, black and gray. Go like that, something. And here, even here, this road. But for this tutorial purpose, I'm just leaving here. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, just bring down the opacity. You can see that this is firing somewhat, crashing here. So, in this there, 
if you bring up the opacity full 100% you'll see that it's connected there's a you see here there's a sudden change in depth you don't want that you want it to be somewhat like slow gradual change from here to here there's a sudden change in depth from here to here it's the same depth so it should not be like that so for for this what we'll do is go to filter fit at this point we can delete this background layer okay so this is a depth map just we'll add a little bit of blur to this depth map to make it look more realistic and give it a gradual depth so add filter blur and add a little bit of gaussian blur and this more just three pixels that would be enough yep as you can see this is blurred and gives a nice and gradual look so okay now this is our depth map we should save this depth map so file save save this as depth map as photoshop document okay save this now the major part is completed guys so now the next part is pretty easy it's pretty simple just close this now actually we have to apply the depth map to the picture what you have to do is file open this and the original picture this is the original picture now we have to apply that depth map to this picture for that go to filter distort and displace first of all you should set the vertical scale to zero because you, should, uh, you don't need your picture to be any moving in vertical direction it should just distort in horizontal so horizontal scale you can play around with this uh, depending on the resolution of the picture but i found 10 to be all right for all resolution so 10 is the ideal thing you can play around if you want more depth just increase it by 15 to 20 but don't increase it like 50 or 100 just 5 or 10 pixels okay i'll leave it at 10 no problem okay and if it will ask you for a displacement map don't worry displacement map is the same thing as the depth map so select the depth map that we just prepared and open as you can see it just started from its position so this will be our left image file save sorry file save as and save it as left this format is you always jpg or png or like that okay so now what you have to do is file create a new document the new document should be the size of your image mine is 1024 by 768 pixels so i'll click that and make the background color set transparent okay as you can see now this left image should be copied onto that but first resize it see on this resize you should forget the aspect ratio see uh, everybody knows that this one is 1024 by 768 is 4 by 3 but forget that one you should whatever the width of this image make it half that means for my thing it's 512 but don't have the height as well if you have the height there's no meaning also it's uh, even the same aspect ratio so the if it's a 1024 by 768 it will be a 512 by 768 pixels okay so the width should be half Sorry. okay click ok and now set control a and Control C for copy. Copy this and paste on this and move it to the left. Okay. Now open your original file. This will be a right image. So again, image size as I said, 
have the resolution sorry have the weight select all copy paste and move it to the right so this is a picture guys if you want you can merge these two layers but that's not none of a business this is a 3d image as, as you can see you can cross eye this now and you'll see the depth of the picture so save this picture as a 3d picture of whatever you like i'll save it as 3d car crash 2 3d car crash quality set the quality as maximum now close the photoshop so we will be not building the photoshop okay now this is the image you created yeah this is the image so put this image in your 3d tv or anything and view it in 3d that's it for guys thank you for watching and please like comment and subscribe if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer them that's it guys thank you thanks for watching bye bye